coffee break with me. Woo! Good morning, New York City. How are you? My Mr. Man's little brother and little sister both live in New York, so I pr practically have every single Starbucks New York mug in life. <laughs> so today I have a special, mm, kind of like a combo video for you guys. This is a haul, but it is also a are they worth the hype type of video. Um, I watch a lot of other girls here on YouTube, um, one of which is Love Melissa Michelle. I swear to God, like I wish she was my friend. <laughs> I, I practically, I would practically stalk her if we lived in the same state. Um, she's just so sweet. She seems like those girls that it literally does it for fun and I don't know, like it's it's not a job for her. She does it for fun. She does it when she has time. If she does it, if not, whatever, you know, super easy going. I love uncomplicated, hormonally balanced women like her. But anyway, that's not the point. The point of this video is Milani lipsticks. Are they worth the hype? So. She's always talking about these lipsticks. I love these lipsticks. I love these. Oh, she loves these lipsticks. So I picked up a few here or there, but I never really took them seriously because I realized that I was buying colors that were very unique. So my very first Milani lipstick purchase was Flamingo Pose, which is actually the same exact color as um, Maybelline Vivid's Shocking Coral. So one of my favorites. So I never really used it. I already have one that I love. And then my second purchase was Sangria, which is a really deep, like a plum color. Um, and I bought it, I used it a couple times, but again, I go back to Urban Decay Shame and I go back to What Unwild Sugar Plum Fairy. You guys know, excuse me, as makeup lovers, you stick to products that you're comfortable with. So regardless of how many products you own, if you want a nude lip, you always go back to Max Cream Cup. If you want a plum lip, you always go back to Wet n Wild Sugar Plum Fairy, even though you have these awesome treasures in your collection. So I kind of thought to myself, I was like, Danny, okay, you need to shop your collection. So going through my stuff, I started to realize how amazing high quality lipsticks these are. These remind me of MAC uh, Cream Sheen Lip Cream. <laughs> I can never say that right. MAC Cream Sheen Lipsticks. So they're very creamy, but they have a slight matte quality to them where they're fully opaque, but they're still moisturizing without being glossy. I hate when they're like super glossy because you guys know I have that problem where I'm always wearing my lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> so these are just creamy enough. So what do I think about these lipsticks? These lipsticks are very affordable. They're extremely creamy. One to two swipes and they're fully opaque. They last huh, a couple hours, I would say three to four hours without needing to be reapplied. I have never had any problems with them bleeding. Um, and the color selection is across the spectrum. So if you want a mauve, a pink, a hot pink, a cool tone red, a a uh, warm tone red, whatever, they have it. So it's not one of those collections where it's hit or miss, you can't always find the color you want. No, this collection has every single color you want. I think they even have like an orange color, which I don't have. So um, let me show you guys the lipsticks that I have in my Milani haul collection, whatever, Welcome to my face. So let's kind of start off in order. The color that I'm wearing today, and I know my camera's gonna be a little goofy because my hair is down, so the color might be a little weird. The, the lighting might be a little strange, but I know you guys will be okay with that. So the first one is Nude Cream, which is, or it's actually Nude Creme. Um, it's the one I'm wearing today. I really like it. It kind of reminds me of Matte Cream Cup, and that's what it looks like. Um, super happy. I'm not going to swatch these for you guys because I'm going to swatch them on my lips at the very end of this video. So stay tuned for that. Um, after that, you have a color called Naturally Chic. And this is kind of a um, more brown nude. The one I'm wearing right now is more of like a pink nude. This is more of a brown nude. So you can see that right there. Um, after that, it gets just a little bit pinker, a little bit darker. This is like the perfect mauve, and it's called Plum Rose. It looks a little dark, but it is like a perfect pink mauve. Really pretty. Um, then we have some pinks, and I have two different kinds of pink. One is a cool-toned hot pink, like Candy Yum Yum. 
I think this might even be a dupe for Candy Yum Yum, but I'm not sure. I have to swatch and then let you guys know. I do know for a fact there are several dupes in these Milani lipsticks that I can't wait to share with you guys. Um, then we have Hot Pink Rage. This is a warm hot pink. So basically, it kind of reminds me of Girl About Town from MAC. It's a really classic, pretty hot pink. It's not necessarily so in your face. My very first Milani lipstick purchase, like I told you guys, Flamingo Pose, it's like a shocking coral. It's, uh, depending on your undertones, it could look fuchsia or hot pink, or it could even look more orange. The very last two um, are the Best Red and Ruby Valentine. They're both red. Another really positive attribute about these lipsticks is that they have the um, bases of the lipstick where they stand have a swatch of the color and it's actually pretty true to color which is a very positive quality for these lipsticks to have for it to be a drugstore lipstick and to have such a um, convenience factor is a huge plus if you see them like this they look very very similar even swatched they're super similar. One's a little bit more pink, the other one's a little bit more like orange, but they're very, very similar. These are those kinds of red lipsticks that are gonna take very differently depending on your personal undertone. So again, these lipsticks are extremely affordable. They're very creamy. They smell like watermelon. So if you have an issue with smelly lipsticks, you know, lipsticks that have an aroma, maybe avoid them, but they are, they are very, have a very good price point. I love the fact that they have the swatch on the bottom. Um, if you're into gold packaging, I mean, for me, this is this is this isn't a plus, you know, because I'm not a big fan of big flashy, showy packaging like these or like the YSL. But I mean, who cares? It's like a six or seven dollar lipstick. Um, so if you guys will allow me, I'm going to show you guys some lip swatches right now um, and that way you guys can decide if any of these colors are colors that you would like to add to your collection or even they might be colors that you already have in your collection that look completely different on me because some of these colors are those type of lipsticks that will take differently depending on your undertone. I really hope you guys enjoyed those lip swatches because my lips didn't enjoy it very much. <laughs> so I really like to do lip swatches just because if I show you on my arm, it can be a little different. Um, you know, obviously your underarm is very pale. It's not the same color as your lips. My lips are personally really pink, so colors tend to look differently on lips. Plus, if I have enormous, if, if God gave me ginormous Amazonian lips like this, I might as well take advantage and consider them the perfect canvas for swatches. <laughs> so I swatched uh, eight lipsticks with the exception of Best Red. Number seven, I didn't swatch this one for you guys. Um, I thought it was way too similar to the other red that I showed you. So I was like, oh, one more swatch, it's not gonna kill you. And I was like, yeah, it might wrinkle my lips. So <laughs> I didn't swatch this one for you guys, but I swatched eight, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Honestly, my favorite drugstore lipsticks are Maybelline lipsticks, but I think it might be more because I have a nostalgic connection to it. Um, you know, it was one of the very first lipsticks I bought with my own money, so that's probably why I enjoy the texture and the, you know, the scent that they have. But after I discovered these, um, I'm just completely in love. I love that the lipsticks have the swatch on the bottom that is so true to color. I love how long they last. I love that they don't bleed, even though they're very creamy. They look, I would say matte on the lips. I know a lot of you are probably gonna correct me in the comments, but to me, they look like fully opaque, richly pigmented matte lipsticks. They slide on creamy as heck, and they last for a long time, but they, to me, the finish is almost like a, a, a matte lipstick. They're not very, very glossy or shiny at all. They're, 
I, I think if you're going to invest in multiple colors of a drugstore lipstick and you know you like really bold colors, you like fully opaque colors and creamy colors, you probably want to start, um, sorry, you probably want to start um, getting a couple of Milani lipsticks. And not to mention at the drugstore, they usually put them 40% off or buy one, get one half off. So take advantage while the sale is hot. Again, this video is such a combination. To me, it's a lipstick haul. It is, are they worth the hype video? It's a review swatch video. So I honestly don't know what I'm gonna title this yet. Um, but whatever I decide to title it, I really hope you found it beneficial. So I guess the only bad things that I could say about these lipsticks are, I don't, I'm not too keen on the packaging. I don't really like flashy gold anything, except that Ipsy bag from last month. Um, and some people have said that it dries out their lips. Me personally, I haven't had that experience, but then again, I don't have sensitive skin or lips. Um, but I'm very, very happy. So if you guys are ever at the drugstore and you think about our coffee breaks together, pick up a Milani lipstick. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. Um, my, my, my absolute favorite lipstick from Milani is definitely Sangria. You guys know I love a vampy lip. So Sangria is really pretty. Um, and it's one of those colors that'll take on more of a burgundy brown color on some and then more of a plummy pink on others. So it's a really, really fun lipstick, especially for the uh, fall or winter right now. So again, I really hope you like this video. Let me know in the comment section, please, please, please. I, I don't know. This is kind of like a review, a haul, a whatever. Are they worth the hype video? Let me know if you have any other suggestions for types of videos that you're interested on in seeing. Um, because I know I, I do the Makeup 101s that are coming back very soon. I do the, the eyeshadow palette series, sort of, sometimes. I do the dupes. I plan on doing the dupes still, so don't worry, they haven't gone anywhere. Um, so let me know if you're interested in maybe starting a different series or anything else that you would like me to do for you guys. So let me know in the comment section below. And I think that's it guys. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.